hello everyone in this video we're going to talk about how to use audion login with sms plugin with clicksend okay this plugin offers you to choose between different sms gateways the top six one of them at the moment we'll be adding more later in future but in this video specifically we're going to talk about how to integrate it with clicksend including getting the api as well okay well this plugin basically is a free plugin on wordpress.org uh, you can download it from there what it does is it basically goes ahead and gives you a pop-up on your login form wherein user can enter their mobile number and log in without their username or password. They can simply get the message on their mobile number if the mobile number is registered and it exists. And if it is correct, if they validate it by entering the correct verification code, they are allowed to log in. Isn't that brilliant? Super simple, super easy. Let me show that to you. Okay, well... Well, the first thing you're going to need is basically the API type, which API you're going to select. So there are six one of them, as you can see on top. There are six one of them that we have currently. And if, if it doesn't have the one you're looking for, just send us a request. If something that's really popular and many people request that, we will certainly consider adding that one as well. Okay, let's have a look. So we have option of click send. Let's have a look this one right here so we need the API key so let's go to click send dashboard I'm gonna to go to developers API credentials and there you go I have my API key over here okay so I'll just copy it and I'll just paste it in the API key then I need the username so I'm just gonna copy the username and I'll just paste it here okay great Next thing you need is basically the meta key. What is meta key? In fact, if you're using any form, if it's your own custom form or if there's any plugin that you're using like the ultimate member or registration form, then it saves the user's mobile number somewhere in the database, usually in the meta key. So that's what we're looking for, the meta key name where it's stored. So I'll give you an example. So if you go to your PHP My Admin, you click on user meta click on browse just select a user which has a mobile number that's saved into the database so for mine it's saved the meta key is mobile number and it's saved here so all I need is just the mobile number because that's where it's saved so I'm going to go ahead and paste this information over here now it asks you whether or not it is saved with the country code or not so as you can see there's no country code right here so I'll just keep it no but if there was any you will select yes so let's say if the mobile number had a country code over here then you'll select yes if it has a plus sign then you select yes with plus sign so if it had a plus sign like this but in our case it isn't so we just leave that the way it is and let's just select no over here which was by default okay now it asks you for country code um, so this is the country code that will be appearing on the front end which I'm going to select India because that's where I'm right now and then the length of the mobile number in your country so minus 10 so I'll select that this is pretty interesting guys because generally you you go ahead and download a plugin and you use it in with your theme sometimes if it's adding some content form or button the look and feel of that button that's coming from that plugin is not same as your theme because they are separate we have taken care of that so we have adapted in some way that a plugin will form will automatically adapt to the theme that you have the style the look and feel of the theme that you have and i'm going to show that to you in a moment okay Now you have an option to select no and then style it the way you want but let's keep it for yes for now which is by default. The next step is when you have a form and you have a login form uh, we would give you an option where the user can click on a button and when he clicks on the button then a, a pop-up will open where he can enter his mobile number and then you know the process of sending verification code will go on. So for that button you can either choose yours or you can allow the plugin to create that button for you on the login form in order for us to do that we just need selectors from you so if you already have a button on the login form that you want to use then you go for this option 
If you don't and you want this plugin to create that button for you to log in, then you go ahead and select this, which is you just need to enter the form, uh, unique class name or probably uh, an ID. So I'm going to show you an example how that works. So I'm going to go to my login page. So my local WordPress install is at this place, WordPress slash login, slash login. Okay. So as you can see that this is my login form. I already have a button here, login with SMS. So I don't need the plugin to create a button for me. I can just use this. So if you inspect element, even if you're not a developer, don't worry. Okay. All you have to do is just do an inspect element, um, which is command option I, I think on, on the Mac. Okay. All right. Then you see there's a class. You just copy the class. If it has a unique ID, just copy that as well. Copy that instead. Okay. Now you can come over here and you can just paste it and make sure you prefix it with dot in case if it's a class, if it's an ID, then prefix it with hash. In our case, it's a class, so we'll prefix it with dot. And that's all you have to do. You just have to save the form and that's it, you're done. So what should happen now? Well, what should happen is basically the button that you've told us that should allow us to create a pop-up for you when it, it is clicked. So let's see the magic. Voila, great. So you can see that if you click on it, this is the form that's coming from the plugin. Okay. Now, if you remember, we spoke about adaptive style, and this is exactly what you can see over here. You can see that the font size, the uh, font family is same as the theme that you're using. And the look and feel of the button is the same, right? And even the input as well, right? Well, this is this is amazing because it saves my time. I don't have to spend money to hire a developer to go ahead and style this for me. It's already done for me. Great. Awesome. Let's see if it handles validation. Okay. So I'm going to just click on send. You can see that it handles validation because it says, please enter mobile number, phone number. If I enter less number of digits, it says, please enter 10 digit mobile number because that's the number we selected onto the dashboard. Now, I'm going to enter an incorrect mobile number and see if it allows me to log in. Okay, so let's do that. Well, there you go, user not found. So I will not be allowed to log in unless I'm a registered user and my mobile number is registered into the database. Okay, so let's put, do the correct one now. Okay. So let's enter. And there you go, it's sending. It's sent, awesome. And now you should hear a beep in a moment. Let me see my mobile. You heard that, there you go. Awesome, I have a mobile number. Let me just zoom this out to show you that it is there. I don't know if you can see it, but I will try my best. Okay, I hope you get it, okay, awesome. So I've got the mobile number, but let's try and see if it handles errors or not. Okay. So first of all, I click on this button without entering anything. You can see it says, please enter your verification code. I enter incorrect verification code and you can see it's, it's invalid. Did you see how fast it is? Well, it's all because of React as well as the API that we are using. We're using the top APIs like Nexmo, uh, Twilio, uh, Clickatel, Clickasend. All of that okay so it's of course you have to use one of them but these are the top ones okay so now let's try to enter the correct one I don't know if you could see that but uh, if you did see that but the correct verification code is 6932 okay great now what do you expect to happen well what should happen is that if you click on this and if the verification code is correct then the user should be locked in let's see that well awesome you are locked in. Isn't that great, brilliant? All you had to do just put your mobile number, put the verification code, you are in. So even if I don't remember my password, I don't have to worry. As long as I have the mobile number and I have my mobile with me, I can log in. Great. So let's see, how, how do I verify that? Well, let's try to go back on the same page and you can see the form doesn't exist and I have an option to log out, which means I'm locked in. Great, awesome. 
all right guys so i hope guys you like the video you like the plugin if you did go ahead and try it out today it's absolutely free on wordpress org okay and if you have any questions leave it in the comment okay and uh, if you did like the video please do subscribe to my channel because i do teach coding as well on onto this channel react wordpress node.js all of that okay and um and that's about it take care bye bye